Huskerson is on the south coast of New South Wales and has many attractions including dolphin and whale watch cruising. There are many places to have a meal or just shop. Huskerson is also the home of Marine Rescue Jervis Bay. Yeah, I'm Russell Green, uh, membership officer of a front for Marine Rescue Jervis Bay. Been in the unit approximately uh, eight years. I'm a, I had a sea change. I moved from Bathurst. Came down here. A lady was selling uh, pins for, uh, you know, obviously for uh, Marine Rescue. And I said, "What's this for?" And she said, "Come over here and have a look." And I wandered up the stairs like you did, and had a yarn to the guys here, and uh, so. Yeah, this will be good fun. Yeah. Yeah, it so uh, um, it is interesting. It is good uh, for uh, being retired and looking for something to do. Yeah, and mm. most of our members, uh, I have to say, are retirees. Uh, Marine Rescue Port Kembla, Marine Rescue Port Kembla, Marine Rescue Port Kembla. This is Marine Rescue Jervis Bay. Radio check, please, on Channel One Six. Over. Over. Marine Rescue Jervis Bay, here is Marine Rescue Port Kembla. You are coming through loud and clear on Channel 16, over. Uh, thank you for that Port Kembla, Marine Rescue Jervis Bay, out. Could you please tell us a little bit about the Marine Rescue Organisation? Uh, well, it was um, Coastal Patrol up to at least about 12 years ago and then as Marine Rescue New South Wales, three, three organisations merged to become Marine Rescue New South Wales, yeah. There's uh, uh, 45 bases between Eden and the Queensland border, including Lord Howe Island, um, the uh, Alpine Lakes and the Murray, the one at Moana on the Murray. Uh, we've got three and a half thousand members and mostly volunteers. We only have about 25 paid staff head office in uh, Sydney. Do you know how many rescues you've had this year? For Marine Rescue New South Wales, up until June, there were 7,800 boats logged on, uh, 650 boats returned to shore, 300 plus rescues, and 24,000 radio calls. That's, so that's between Eden and the Queensland border. But like, look, there's really a weekend goes past that we don't have to go and get somebody. Are you funded by the New South Wales government? Funding, we're not funded by the government. We're a volunteer, we have to raise all our own money, but we do get grants. And the government d does give a grant to head office, uh, which is then divvied up between all the units, so we get a little bit. <laughs> mm. um, here we, we do a, uh, our major fundraising is the Duck Derby at Moona Moona Creek on Australia Day, yeah, yeah. which we all thoroughly enjoy. Um, we have an arrangement with 38 Squadron RAAF at Richmond, where we fly out, we go, they fly out to sea, about five miles out, and we go out, drop a life raft over, and this is helping train their pilots for ocean rescue because the Air Force is responsible for open water rescue. Okay. Um, then, so they drop smoke flares and training medical kits and everything and then we pick that up uh, after they're finished and we bring it back to Creswell, uh, take it all off and then they graciously give us an account for fuel for that. So that, that's a fundraiser for us, a major fundraiser because our big boat holds about 2,000 litres of fuel, so diesel, oh, 1,000 litres of fuel, sorry. So that's over $2,000 worth. Mm. <laughs> and then we, uh, we have the Husky markets that we raise money with, the good old Bunnings barbecue. Mm. And then we have an arrangement with CHC helicopters out here on the bay, where, and it's on this week as well, I think, uh, where the helicopter hovers just above our vessel and they drop the diver down onto the back of the boat on the uh, the line, and it's a bit of a mm. bit of a thing when you're on the back of the boat, and that helicopter's right there above you. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. So uh, yeah, we're always always fun, and fun, and we have a, a grants officer, the owner, who does a wonderful job getting grants 
going out everywhere looking for greens and we've just got a couple of greens because we've got to put two new motors on the back of our small vessel, two outboards. There's over thirty thousand dollars gone straight away. That's a lot of sausage sizzles. <laughs> <laughs> Shoalhaven Movie Makers would like to thank Russell Green and Marine Rescue Jervis Bay for a very interesting and informative day.